Down he was up, couldn't mark. Bottom of the pack, Trelaw found the footy. Sends a tough one to control towards half forward. Cameron, not tough to control for him. He read that beautifully. Mackie, important. That was well done, but still over the head. Interesting effort. Toby Green snaps the first goal of the game. And a ripper it was too. Running in numbers now, Gregson with that pace, took a few on, got back to Motlop by hand, and again with confidence the Cats. Tommy Hawkins, he's got quarter beat, he's got the strength, he stands, and now he's got to deliver. So the 27-year-old, by his own admission, has had a quiet year. He's delivered early for the Cats. Well, he thought about taking on Devin Smith, oh. almost gave it away, and then thought, no, I will. Long ball again, Hawkins, core Hawkins. Palmer looks to be in a bit of pain, guys. He come off, once I first saw something to do with his back, you see him, he was actually limping when he was coming off. So he looked to be in a lot of pain. So straight up the race, I'll keep you updated. He's an important player for the Giants. Caddy to Taylor, gets it back, and then Hawkins marks inside the square. Now Motlop's on. He spots Motlop. Terrific kick. Really good back lead, and Motlop wants to play on. He does just that for four in a row for the Cats. Motlop from the square kicks his second how difficult it's been for them. That's their first score in 35 minutes of football. Motlop to Caddy, two of the high ball getters, and to Selwood, over the top. Tommy, he's already got a couple. He's got the height, the strength, and Kaur's got a tough afternoon ahead. Tommy's got three. They're going to continue to need to do that. Griffin, a long ball down towards full forward. Tomlinson gets the arms free and takes the mark. Well, that was right. a shocking kick that works out well. Lux of fortune. So now it's Kelly all alone. <laughs> both all coaches, coaches bemused. They're both bewildered. You've got Chris Scott saying, how in the hell weren't we able to destroy that ball? And you got Leon Cameron saying, how in the hell did Green's kick end up there? <laughs> and Kelly thinking, how the hell am I lining up for goal? But he is. And he squeezed it through. Back to 16 points. Looks downfield. Caddy, Hawkins, Johnson. Hawkins is the man chosen again. The man with the size. What it's been doing all match. It starts left. It drifts right. Splits the middle. Tommy's got four. And got, now, a, got a punch in each. That's okay with the other Desperate to get a goal here. Dying stages. Downey out of the ruck to lift them. Brilliant goal exactly what they needed with 17 seconds left on the clock. Here's Gregson with his customary dash. Long ball. Hawkins over the top again. How many times has he outmuscled Aiden Court? This for goal five and back out to a four goal lead. Well he has. He's put it through. Goal five was good work. Johnson, nothing inside 50. Duncan is breaking. He's the only one inside 50. Gathers the football, controls it, and will get another kick, will he? Yes, he will. Right behind Duncan's kick, he keeps it low. He keeps it very straight and effective. And now it's a big lead. Out to 38. Gave it to Scully. That's better from GWS. And out on his own is Lamb. He gathers the footy, bounces inside 50 for their first score of the last quarter. It's a goal. From Cornelio, Cameron leads. Not quite. He's had a tough afternoon. But they make it. Toby Green in the end to Callan Ward. And that's two in a row. It looked unlikely for a long time, that score. But two quick goals. 27 points the lead. Selwood in right. Is there time for one more? High ball. There is no time. So Geelong, they get their eighth win of the season and they stay in finals contention.